Welcome back. Our final guest today first moved on up the charts in the 90s with M People, uh, giving us all one night in heaven at the clubs <laughs> as we search for the hero oh, inside yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Before she made us all feel proud. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, with more rousing anthems as a solo artist. Yes, yeah, she really needs no further introduction. Please welcome Heather Small. Wow. wow, you look fantastic. Oh, that's really kind of you. you really do. And listen, I have to say, first off, somebody just popped this on the desk, and this is uh, the new album, The Colour of My Life. The artwork and everything. You look amazing. Thank you so much. I had a good glam team. Oh, <laughs> no, you look fantastic. So, how are you feeling, first album in 16 years? Uh, you know, it feels good. I, I think that um, people say, well, why would you release something? I think after the two years that we had before, and especially for creatives, we all know that, you know, it's been a lot of time mm. at home. And so when I was given the opportunity to do this album, I thought there's a way to bring my past, my present and the future. So there's what I've done before. There's a new, there's a new, there's a new song and then there's a cover and that gives a taster of, of the future. I just wanted to, because you're at home for that long and you're a creative, you know, your mind starts to work and you think, will I be ever out there again? Mm. Will I be able to do what I yeah. do? Will I love what I do? Will there be an audience? Will people want to come out and be, you know, congested together and, you know, jumping and dancing in, 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 in the sunshine? It yeah. turns out it's this, yes, a yeah. big yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all yeah. have to, we, we yeah. really want it live. Yeah. And, and, you know, the yeah. government wasn't so, so, so kind, but the people that um, got us through lockdown were creatives. And now, you know, the general public are now... Um, um, showing us the love and appreciation yeah. and, it's, yeah. and it's, it's real fun. Well, people still absolutely love the classics, which they will hear on your new album. Do you still love them? I do love them. You know, it's, it's like 30 years of love and doing it with, a, with an orchestra. Um, it's just so much fun. And, you know, I've done them over the years and there's different ways that I do them. I've got a great MD, Ferrell Bailey, who just gives the whole live show an injection of because he's been doing it as long as me, the songs. Yeah. So there's love and there's creativity. We just yeah. enjoy it. Absolutely love it. And love we, it. We met your orchestra earlier, and mm -hmm. I couldn't help but notice they're all women. Yes. And you feel like... By design. Really, well, I, I was going to say that you're a real woman's woman. And, I am. You know, you have paved the way for lots of other people. I grew up in the 90s watching you. I mean, has it been hard for you as a woman? I mean, it's, it's, it is difficult when you're a woman in any field, you know, but in music, it's, it can be more difficult because you're not taken as seriously um, as your male colleagues. And sometimes you think that people who are on your side are not on your side, yeah. but that goes for anything. But as a black woman, it is doubly hard because I always think to myself, um, in music, if I say the word, Diva, who do you think of? Right. Every diva this you can think of I was gonna will be a black woman. Yeah. yeah. From Mariah to Whitney, Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. Yeah. And, and they're just asking for what's their due, and they they're professional and they want it to be the best. But you get labelled. You know, there's not Madonna. Um, you know, she's been labelled a lot of things because she was a mm -hmm. forerunner. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, you don't use the word diva yeah. for her. Yeah. You know, a real negative connotation. The, yeah, it's become you. very, yeah. very negative. And, and diva meant somebody who sung and loved singing. Mm -hmm. But if applied to somebody who looks like me, yeah. It's 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 negative it's like, and, it, yeah. and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. But you know, this is this is what you this is what you face. But I keep going and I love what I do and I think you know your team has been great. It's been fun. <laughs> they realize that I'm not a diva. <laughs> that, that I just love what I do. It's, it's just yeah. yeah and I think if you are called a diva and stuff like that, it, it can potentially get around that exactly. you are there. And then and you don't work. Yeah, exactly. you don't work. You're out you of work, work. Hmm. which is But you've managed to transcend. Um I I we we work together. In the nineties, we we yeah, love we we crossed paths yeah. many many times, mm -hmm. and so but you've managed to transcend because I think your music has become an anthem. It's yeah. become like a a tapestry for people's lives. You know, it's kind of you know something that people remember and put on at certain yeah. moments to yeah. celebrate. And, yeah. and that's and that's a joy. You know, mostly when people see me, it's happy memories. And when they come to a show, I think you know we'll leave our troubles at the door for an hour or so. And I know you. 
they don't go away. You pick them up on the way back. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't leave them with me. You don't pick them up on the way back out. But, you know, there's a suspension of that, yeah. of the, of yeah. that time. Yeah. You bring yeah. that positive energy. And that's what I wanted that to do. All, yeah, and, yeah. And, and that's what music should be about. Mm. You, you know, sometimes it should be entertaining. Sometimes it makes you feel sad. You know, you've always got a song that you go to, whatever your, um, yeah. your yeah. mood. Yeah. And I'm glad now because I think I've um, permeated the, the, the um, British public psyche mm -hmm. and like you say you know I think people will see me and what I look like and they'll think positive they'll see you and they'll think positive they'll see you do you think they That's... didn't in the past yeah. um you know what it is I think you always have to prove yourself yeah whatever color and packaging you come in mm -hmm. if you're a female you have to you have to prove yourself mm -hmm. but it is doubly hard mm -hmm. if you're a black female and mm -hmm. that's just that's the honest that's mm -hmm. the honest truth and but I think that sorry yeah. I was gonna say did you experience any racism coming up or I mean you know in the music business that I, I haven't faced racism in that same way because I was in a band that was mixed. And as a band and a united front, it's hard for people to perforate that kind of yeah. um, bubble. Yeah. But on a day-to-day -day basis, when I'm not, you know, Heather Small going and singing and, yeah, there isn't a week that goes by that there isn't some kind of yeah. trouble. But, mm. you know, I, I, like I said, I keep going. I love what I do. And I always think that the best, the, the best uh, revenge is be happy, be successful. successful. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know what I mean? What's the last idea? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm um, a Capricorn. I'm on the uh, oh, cusp. Oh, not so Capricorn. I'm. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn. You're flying by Capricorn. Excuse me. I don't know what you know. I'm just thinking about my whole spiel about how nice I am. I was really connecting with you then. That's yeah. what you're saying. You still yes. are. You still are. Well, I'm a Sagittarius, so we're kind of close. But my mum's Sagittarius. You'll be getting really well. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. I am too. Well, yeah, as I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so how, do you think it's a lot of pressure, like reworking your, your hits? Do you know, I didn't feel that it was pressure. I think the pressure is that you don't want to make people that have loved your songs over the years then think to yourself, you've gone along and smashed them, you know, you've yeah. hammered them and, yeah. they've, you know, nothing, there's nothing left. But I think that the same kind of love that people have for the songs, I have that same love. There is no way that I want to do anything that would um, disrupt that legacy and that flow. Mm -hmm. So for me, I thought I was just giving them extra love and love in a yeah. different way, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I've loved those songs for almost 30 years yeah, and I do and I do them live. And well, like listen, said, we love them and no, we want to hear them. And oh. uh, so I'm sorry to cut you oh, off. No, it's just, I want to leave enough time to make sure that we can hear you sing. So I hope you don't mind. <laughs>